Ladies and gentlemen, collectors all over the world, the reclamation has already begun and we are hopeless to stop it. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. My biggest video arguably ever, to be honest. Uh, I've been a little nervous about recording this one. It's such a big deal. Not only am I revealing the figures for a full new set, it's probably one of the most iconic sets ever made from Mega. I mean, it's the return of the flood after like since the actual Halo 3, Halo Reach days. It's been like six years since we've had a Flood set. We've had a couple of Halo 4 versions, but I wouldn't count that in the same kind of pool. Not only is it the return of the Flood, it's the first new articulation Flood. There are loads more surprises, including a very special Master Chief, some really insane details on these Flood combat forms, and something else entirely. I'm so excited for this one, and I want to start by thanking Mega from the bottom of my heart for giving me the opportunity to reveal these figures to the world. It's a deep, deep honor for me. I'm very humbled, and I just hope this is the beginning of not only my relationship with Mega, but also a way to open the floodgates, get it, floodgates, uh, to welcome in like a better cooperation between the community and Mega. I really believe that the main reason that Mega stands out from Lego, aside from obviously the figures, is the cooperation between Mega and the community. They've really been working hard recently, and you can see that the walls are breaking down slowly. They're becoming more relaxed with allowing information to be revealed to us, allowing community members to reveal information, and generally just, uh, you know, opening the curtains, giving us more behind the scenes looks at what goes on behind the company doors. And that's what I'd really just appreciate more than anything about this. To be honest, for me, I've been a Mega Constructs collector since 2009. I've had this channel for over eight years, this is not really about me. This is not really about me revealing something. This is about a cornerstone change in the community. And I think going forward, we've got a really exciting future with Mega and with the brand. So sales pitch aside, we're here to reveal the figures for the Traxxas Factory Flood. A little bit of history for you real quick. The Factory Flood is the third ever voted for by the fans set. The first one was the Halo Countdown. That was at Halo Fest, but that was a closed event. That was only people at the event could vote for it out of that Spirit Dropship and what eventually became Cauldron Clash. Fast forward many, many years, Mega did another Halo Halo fan vote, this one through Halo Podcast Evolves YouTube channel, and it was a vote for a new Halo hero. The vote was between a Halo 3 CQB, Thrall Slayer from Halo Wars 1, a Flood Combat form, and a Haunted Helmet. A lot of people wanted that Flood Combat form, but the Haunted Helmet reigned supreme. But Mega, I think, clearly wanted the Flood Combat form to win. Only a few months later, the next MCX fan vote took place, voting between four sets. We had a UNSC Cougar, a Banished Reaver, Warden Eternal, Eternal and Traxxas Factory Flood, now called Traxxas Tower Flood. You guess which one? It was the Traxxas Factory Flood by actually a large majority. People clearly were wanting those new articulation flood and really it's about time. It's been so many years since we've had Halo Mega Blocks Flood. It would have been blocks back then. The resale value online of Flood is kind of ridiculous. So I'm really happy that both Mega and the community finally stepped forward and said it's time for some Flood. Not only was this fan vote a great way to show Mega's now committed engagement with the community. It was also a way for Mega to share more behind the scenes pictures. And Mega's never been shy of this, of course. They've shared really dope 3D printed behind the scenes pics, things like the new ODST backpack and Jaeger Redomni. But now they wanted to share some flood. It started with the reveal of the new Traxxas Tower forklift. I particularly, I never thought that the forklift was that legendary of a thing, but people are really hyped about this. And I, I guess I've driven it around in Halo Reach custom games quite a lot. It looked pretty good. They created a new piece just for this forklift. And mind you, this is a Halo 4 Master Chief in the prototype, but the end result will be a Halo 3 Master Chief, as you're about to see. But yeah, the forklift looked really good. And then they revealed the entire build. And I think it blew most people away. Certainly myself, I did not expect this build to be so massive and have so many moving parts. The fact the actual crane could move up and down and left and right, awesome. Really dope design. You can tell Kevin, the lead designer at Mega, really enjoyed designing this set. And then... Silence. What happens next? Where are the figures? Well, wait no longer. We are here to reveal the Traxxas Tower Flood figures. And there are a lot of them. <laughs> like a lot. 
Uh, two days ago, I revealed the new articulation flood claw. I wanted to reveal that separately because I wanted to obviously get the hype train rolling, but I thought it was also valid of its own reveal because it's so epic. This claw has articulated pincers, which I don't think anyone saw coming, and I think it's way larger than anyone saw coming. So I wanted to reveal that separately. And then yesterday during our live stream, we revealed this image that shows a bag filled with 10 infection forms. 10 infection forms, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is outrageous, like honestly outrageous. 10 of them, we've never even got close to that. Maybe three or four is the max we've ever got in a set. Outrageous. The only set that's tied that in the past is the Flood Invasion with 10 popcorn. Before that, the Flood Hunter Battle Unit, five, and the Clash on the Ring Blind Bags, five. So 10? is so stupid, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's dumb, it's, it's really, really badass. Like, you saw the original concept art for the Tractus Factory, and you kind of thought, well, you know, it, it shows a lot of Flood, but how many Flood are there really gonna be? Turns out a lot, 10 popcorn. Amazing. So you're all left wondering what else is in the set. And please do keep in mind, these are all prototype images. A lot have been 3D printed and the pictures you're about to see are hand painted. They are not the final image and they will look quite different once they finally release. And remember, all of this information can be found on the website Mega Unbox. You can go there and check out more high definition images of this set as well as descriptions. And you can take a little bit of a closer look. But this is a good indication of what they're going to look like and a really dope behind the scenes look at actually how you paint figures, how you profile figures. And it's something that I really think you guys are gonna enjoy and appreciate. Ah, it's finally time. I've been sitting on this information for days and I, I just, uh, yeah, thank you all for the support. These are the figures for the Traxxas Tower Flood. Check it out. Kill me or release me, Parasite. But do not waste my time with talk. There is much talk and I have listened. Rock and metal burn time. Now I shall talk, and you shall listen. Your prophets have promised you freedom from a doomed existence, but you will find no salvation on this ring. Those who built this place knew what they wrought. Do not mistake their intent. There is still time to stop the key from turning. But first it must be found. You will search one likely spot. You will search another. Fate has us meet as foes. But this ring will make us brothers. Buddy. Okay, okay, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Um, I'll start with what I think uh, is gonna have taken most people by surprise. We are getting a flood tank form in this set. Nobody saw that coming, right? I didn't see that coming. I wanna confirm this is the old flood tank form. It's not new articulation, but at the same time, I absolutely don't think it needs to be. I would rather mega focus their budget and attention on other things and other new parts instead of a tank form that, to be honest, was perfect to begin with. To read an exact quote from one of the designers at Mega Constructs, it is not new articulation, it is a deluxe redeco of our original flood tank figure from way back when. I like that. Deluxe Redeco sounds good to me. <laughs> so we get a flood tank, which I'm sure for a lot of people is amazing news. Flood tank resale value is pretty enormous online. So this is a great opportunity for a lot of people to get into the flood. And the whole set is, to be honest, the whole set is a great introduction into the Flood for a lot of people, especially people who can't afford old sets. Then we gotta talk about the man, the myth, the legend, the Master Chief. I teased two days ago that this was not your regular Chief. That's because he is splattered with Flood biomass. Come on. Come on, that's amazing. You know, this is just a painted version and we're going to see an actual printed version in the future. So I would expect the Flood Biomass to be really badass on this figure. And I know uh, anyone in the community, because like, here's the thing, we have so many Master Chiefs, 
Um, you need something different every time. And it's cool because I even suggested this about six months ago, I think, maybe three months ago, when I said they need to re-release old figures like Alpha 9, and they should just release them with a bit of splatter or blood damage or something. Like, for example, the ODST Firefight book that has drone splatter all over it. Mega needs to re-release classic characters, but just give them a little bit of a different touch. And this is a perfect example, but Halo 3 Master Chief is also a very hard to acquire figure anyway. So I'm sure most people will just be excited to get their first Halo 3 Master Chief. Amazing. And then we gotta talk about those Flood Combat Forms. Yes, we have got New Articulation Elite Flood Combat Forms, but the biomass is way, way more crazy than anything we've seen before. The original Flood were good, right? They were great at the time, but the biomass only just sort of like leaked through their suit a little bit. It was more just like a paint application, and the actual Flood was just the arm and the head. This is way, way different. The Flood biomass seems to be the entire toy so and then extended into the arm. Way more detailed, way more 3D, way more realistic, and I love it. And look at the way you can attach an elite's head into the flood biomass. Any figure that you wanna use with this flood biomass, you just attach that figure's head into the top and it becomes that figure. Back in the day, we only had a flood release of a Halo Marine and a Halo Elite. You couldn't really pop and swap them because if you put the Halo Elite on a brute, it would have an elite's head and it would make no sense. This is perfect. The fact that you can attach a head onto the flood biomass and create whatever figure you want is not only indicative of like what Mega stands for with customization, pop and swaps, building, it also is just a dream for any custom creator, any diorama maker. I'm looking at you, G Customs Creations. Like I've just been thinking for the past few days, like G Customs is going to go wild with this. The whole MCX custom community is. I, I cannot wait to see what they do. And then we're gonna talk about that arm. <laughs> we gotta talk about that arm. This is why I teased it two days ago. I was like, this deserves its own reveal. The arm is like the length of the figure, <laughs> like legitimately. The old articulation flood literally just had like a stubby little claw that you could attach a gun to. It was just one piece, right? It, it was okay for the time. It just popped on from a ball joint. This articulation is wild. This claw clips into a swivel joint halfway, which clips into another swivel joint by the actual uh, torso. And then the claw has two levels of articulation and there's a gross hand sticking out. <laughs> Mega, <laughs> like Mega, you crazy. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you, you uh, wow. I mean, even me, even me, man, speechless. It, it's, it's something else. Ah, I've been staring at this flood for days. And you know, you absolutely know that if you took that elite head off, even if you wanted to get a little knife and cut the attachment off, it would look epic on its own, right? This is w way more than I think anyone imagined. Like, honestly, way more. This Flood looks insane. You can easily just make a pop and swap Flood Honor Guard, pop and swap Brutes, pop and swap Flood anything with this thing. You literally just attach the extra limbs in from any other figure and the head and bam, you got a Flood custom instantly. It's so good. They've designed it with custom makers in mind and they've designed it with articulation in mind because again, that Flood Claw, Simply outrageous, like simply outrageous. Oh man, so two flood combat forms and a flood tank and a flood biomass splattered master chief. 10, 10 flood forms, 10 flood forms guys, 10 flood forms. That takes the total figure count in this set to 14. That is one for 14. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the hype, man, the hype. I hope the chat's going wild. I, I'm, I'm really excited to see the chat on this one. Ah, man. Four standard figures, the Master Chief, two Flood Combat Forms, and a Flood Tank, and then 10 Popcorny Boys from Mega themselves, Traxxas Factory Flood, the figures. For this week's update, we're looking at the micro action figures included in the upcoming Traxxas Factory Flood set. And when we say look, we mean it. Check out the photo. Note that you're looking at prototypes. These are hand-painted models created with a 3D printer in our model shop. The design team uses the prototypes for review purposes, and these guys are just about ready for production. Four micro action figures are included in this set. There's a flood tank form, two elite combat forms, and the Master Chief himself. And Chief comes with a unique look. He's been splattered with flood biomass. But wait, 
there's also 10 flood infection form micro figures to fully infect the set. What do you think about the included figures? Is it everything you hoped for? Flood the comments, nice, and let us know. Not only is this all dope, it's also great to see a behind the scenes of how Mega paints their figures after they've been 3D printed or after they've come out the original test mold. Really badass, and I love looking at those uh, little paint profiles. I desperately want to be able to tour this studio one day. I, I think I'll be able to make it happen one of these days. And guys, this drops fall 2023. Price point unconfirmed just yet. And um, there is one more piece of information today. You thought I was just done with the figures? You thought wrong, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> and you see how excited I am, like legitimately. There is one more piece of information for today, folks. There is one other Flood product coming next year. I can confirm that. This was uh, told to me by Jan yesterday. There is one more Flood product in the fall 2023 line. And I want the comments of this video to start with all caps, Flood we and after that, your predictions on what Flood figure or set will be coming as an addition to this in the fall 2023 lineup. Ladies and gentlemen, the Traxxas Factory Flood will drop next year, including 14 amazing Flood figures. Well, one of them is a Master Chief, but he has Flood on him. <laughs> it is probably gonna be the most hyped set, most anticipated set ever next to <laughs> all recent releases. <laughs> Are we not in the best window of MCX releases ever? I know distribution needs to improve and believe me, everyone's working on that. We're in the best time frame right now. This is the height of it all, to be honest. We have the Falcon Sweep, the 20th character pack has had a massive restock on Amazon. This, the Arbiter's Quest, Gungu's Gambit, Red Team Charge, Ghost of Requiem. Like, what are we even talking about? A Banished Phantom? It's the best time ever to be an MCX fan. This has all been made possible by a vote from us. And now we get new articulation flood and a lot more a Flood Tank, a Biomass Master Chief, and 10 Popcorn Shrimpy Boys. Amazing, just truly amazing. I wanna thank Mega again for this opportunity and for letting me reveal that there's another Flood set next year. I hope our relationship just continues to blossom and that can only be made possible by the support of the community. And I hope the community will support these kind of projects because the, like, the more the merit. I see a future where we are impacting the design choices and the releases of Mega a lot. So Flood Week is a go, guys, and make sure to use the hashtag Mega Flood Invasion. If you tag me on Twitter or Instagram with hashtag Mega Flood Invasion, my handle is Motion Domain. If you tag me there, I'll be retweeting and adding a lot of your posts to my story and featuring them in future videos. So make sure to use the hashtag Mega Flood Invasion. You can also continue the conversation on our Discord, link down below, or our Facebook group, The Mega Constructs Domain. Links to everything in the description down below. I also recommend you checking out Demarcation Media's new Dusted Off episode, where he shows you how you can paint your flood forms and then photograph them and edit and upload them to Instagram. It's a really highly detailed tutorial. Would highly recommend you checking it, as well as Halo Podcast Evolves' most recent video where they detailed this reveal as well. And after you've checked out this video, I want you to go to Mega Unbox website. That's where all the details and more high definition images are of this set. Link in the description once that post is live. If you want to check out my original core reveal, that's two days ago. Really dope video. Two days before that, a custom showcase of all my Flood figures. Yesterday, I did a live stream where I went over all of the history of every Flood figure from Mega. There's actually been way more than I thought there was. And in two days time, you can join me for my largest ever Flood firefight diorama. An awesome showcase of a really badass mock. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. And then a couple of days after that, we're going to be showing off even more Flood that fans have sent me. So just thank you all so, so much from the bottom of my heart for the support on this and future projects. This is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. 14 amazing micro action figures. Let me know again in the comments down below what you think of this. And as always, you stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And I'll see you next time. The Domain is signing off. Oh, my God.